Hey folks, Rudd's here. I'm going to do a soap review today. The Artisan Soap Shop Agave. This is their uh, classic shaving soap, which is a uh, vegan formula. A lot of you know Jenny Peck from the uh, shave groups. Lovely scent you can see here. She uses the uh, almost Soap Commander style black PET jars and the uh, soap is it's not a croak but it's it's a soft soap let me get the brush loaded up here and we'll come back we'll talk about the scent all right 30 second load that's going to be plenty i forgot to mention we're going to be using my uh mozingo brushes dark side we'll be uh cutting the whiskers here today with the boker elite and we'll uh finish off with the matching Artisan Shaving Shop Agave Aftershave Moisturizer. With the face, I know I overloaded this. Went for about 20 seconds and um, you can see it's going to be pretty pasty to start. So scent. Um, agave is dark cucumber and cedarwood. So the scent itself is very clean and refreshing maybe a touch on the sweet side with um, kind of that woodiness in the background the scent strength is mid strong both out of the uh, container and as you uh, build your lather on your face there are only a couple Scents on the market that utilize cucumber that I know of, um, but soaps similar, similarly scented to this, in my opinion, would be the uh, Dapper Dragon Cucumber Melon or the uh, Uncle John's Cucumber Melon. I'm going to finish the uh, lather process here off camera. We'll come back and we'll talk about the performance while we get the shave underway. All right, let's put this uh, boker to work here. So right off the bat, I'll tell you that this soap um, is an all vegan base. And it represents one of the, uh, one of those incredible value soaps. $12 for six ounces of soap, which brings you in at uh, $2 an ounce. But it performs well above that price tag. The overall lather, as you can see, is extremely cushiony and uh, dense. The slickness is above average. And the uh, post shave is good as well. It's on the uh, thirsty side. But with proper water addition, the soap just keeps rewarding you. When doing all my test lathers with this soap, the um, overall performance reminds me a lot of uh, the Holy Black shaving soap as well as uh, Mason Boutique. I'm going to finish the rest of the shave here off camera. We'll come back with some final thoughts. All right, we're back. Let's try some of this uh, aftershave moisturizer. It's almost like a um, aftershave cream. Scent is very nice, very similar to the uh, soap it matches. I can feel my skin soaking it up. Go with a little bit on the uh, dome here. It 
doesn't feel uh, greasy in the hands at all either, so that's a good thing. Uh, so shave was great overall. The, um, the the metrics on the soap are all great. Um, I probably could have got away with just the splash today, but I wanted to try the uh, moisturizer, so no harm there. I did find one knock on the product. The uh, labels are not waterproof. Uh, I didn't test the top. I didn't intentionally test the side either, but um, there's some room for improvement there, Jenny. But overall, the uh, soap itself worked great. I urge you all to uh, check out her Etsy store below, which I'll link. And uh, appreciate you all watching. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a uh, subscription if you haven't already subscribed. And if you have any questions, comment below or get at me on any of the uh, social media platforms. Take care, folks.